Hey folks, this is Vincent Natalie with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're gonna check out Planetarium. This is a game for one to four players. It's for ages 12 and up. Average play time about, I want to say 45 to 60 minutes. The stats are on the back of the box, so I'm just recalling from memory, but that should be fairly close enough. So what is Planetarium? Well, this is our first time playing, first of all. But based on what I read in the rule book, this is a game where we're going to be moving planets around the board, running them into various matter tokens, and then using these matter tokens in order to pay for cards that we have. And we're going to essentially terraform four different planets, A, B, C, and D. So this game seems to be very simple. Um, on your turn, you're going to move a token. Uh, it has to be clockwise, however. And then once you're done doing that, uh, if you happen to collect any tokens, uh, matter tokens, by running a planet into a token or vice versa, then uh, you'll be able to collect it and put it on your player board over here. Now these player boards um, match the planets that are in the game. So you've got A here, D down there, B up there, and C here. So if I were to run planet C into a token, I would put that token into the planet C part of my player board, and then I'll be able to spend those tokens in order to play these cards. Now, everyone starts the game, there's three different card types. There's the low evolution, which is on the left here, high evolution, which is a little bit tougher to complete, and then you've got two final evolution cards. Now, in the very beginning of the game, you're going to choose one of the final evolution cards to keep, and the other one gets thrown away. The symbols on the left of the cards indicate what you need to discard or satisfy in order to uh, score the points in the upper right hand corner. The final evolution cards do not get evaluated until the very end of the game on the last turn. So you're going to have evol these final evolution cards in your hand uh, until the very end of the game and that's when you can actually play them. But here's the kicker, your hand limit is always, 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 always five cards. So the more final evolution cards that you have in your hand, the less you have to work with to actually score during the game. So it becomes a balance of, okay, how many final evolution cards do I draw, do I keep, uh, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna go ahead now and just pick one of these to keep. I'll just keep that one. And we'll explain, I guess, the symbols as we go. It seems to be a fairly simple process. And while she is deciding on a final evolution card to discard, I'll give you a quick look at the box insert. These are the other player boards that we're not using. The game did come with baggies, which is nice. Um, you've also got the optional use of these stands. So instead of using this uh, C token over here, I could use the stand instead. But for purposes of the video, like I think that's just harder to see from an angle. So I'm just gonna use the flat tokens, but there are, there are optional tokens that you can use for this, which is kind of nice. Um, I think that's it as far as components are concerned. Here's a quick look at the rule book. And it's about, it's really nice to look at. There's also a solo mode in here as well. This is just miscellaneous information. Yeah, here's the solo variant here, which is kind of cool. And yeah, and then there's a guide on the back. And I think it's, yeah, 15 pages or so in length. But again, the last couple of pages here are mainly fluff. Um, what does this mean? What do you mean? So these symbols on these cards, let's go ahead and just pull up one of them. Uh, Here, pull up this one. I might discard that one. Okay. <laughs> so there are a couple of different things to satisfy. This is a final evolution card. And all final evolution cards have this, this remove. cube, remove a cube from a card symbol. As we play cards to the, pl as, as we play cards in this game, by sat like the, the low evolution and the high evolution ones. As we play them, we're going to be assigning them to those planets. Mm -hmm. And then we put a cube on that card to indicate that we put it there, okay? This symbol is simply saying, when you play this final evolution uh, and you put it in the planet that satisfies it, you're going to remove one of those cubes. So you can only play as many final evolution cards to a planet that you've that you already have a low evolution or high evolution card there. So for example, if I tr if I only had one card on planet D at the end of the game that had my cube on it, I could not play two final evolution cards here because I only have the one cube. I only I only played one card to this planet. Yeah. I'd have to find a home for the second final evolution card. What's the IVB? 
The I, V, and V, those are Roman numerals that are indicative of, if you look at the board, you'll notice that there's a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, 5, and 6. That is simply saying that in order to satisfy this objective, the target planet that you're trying to score must be between those two, uh, uh, V1 and V, so it must be on this track. So the planet must be on this ring in order to satisfy this objective. So at the end, you're going to, again, you're going to be moving planets around the board. So you need to manipulate the planets to satisfy the positional uh, requirements. Oh, okay. This is saying uh, four and five, and this is four and five. So as so if you're trying to score planet C, for example, actually it wouldn't work. This symbol, this planet. That's an A. Right. Uh, if you take a look, it's also on your player board. A and B on your player board, and A and B on my player board match this symbol. So you would need to put A or B in this ring in order to satisfy this top one and then the middle one, and that would actually satisfy that. How would you switch rings? How do you switch rings? Whenever it's your turn, you're going to, um, whenever it's your turn, again, you're going to pick a token and move it clockwise around. Mm -hmm. You can either stay on the same path that you're currently on, or you can you can use these lighter lines. Oh. Let's go ahead and zoom in a bit. It's kind of hard to see, but there's solid white lines and I'll just zoom in there. So there's solid white lines, which is the primary track, but you also notice these faint bluish looking lines. Yeah, I see Those are the paths that these things can travel on. So you can switch tracks, so to speak, by doing that. Okay. okay? Right. So you're going to discard that one. All right. So that just goes to the bottom of the deck. I have the deck that the decks off to the left side of the screen. You guys can't see that. Um, this is my player board. This is her player board. Typically, um, whenever a planet, you add a card to a planet, you're going to add D on this row and A on this row and C on this row and B on this side of the. So all four sides are utilized for the sake of the video. We're going to put B up here, D down here, A over here, and C over there because of room, you know what I mean, for camera purposes. Everyone also starts the game with these, these cubes, and again, as you play cards to these planets, you will put one cube on it to track that you put it there. When you fulfill a card, do you have to keep those resources on the planet, or can you, or do you, you kind of have to them. pay for them? So, correct. So, whenever you, let's say that I, I'll just show you one of mine real quick. So this card, for example, says Asteroid Impact on it. Okay, so there's that, and I'll show that to you. So I need to discard that and that, okay? On a planet. Right. That's already on a planet. Right, so um, I would be discarding oh. tokens from my player board that I'm collecting in order to play this card, okay? And as I discard tokens, I'm going to be adding them to this very faint evolution track on this on the outside of the board. When it reaches this point, then we can double move our planets, typically, or tokens. You can only typically move one space per turn. Mm -hmm. But once tokens fill up to this point, then we can move two spaces per turn. And then getting it to here will end the game. Wait, so how do you fill those up? By just, simply just discarding action. tokens from your board to play cards. Interesting. Okay. The tokens that you discard go on that track. Oh, I see, I see, I see. And that serves as the game's timer. I see. The score uh, track is over here. There's the tens and the, the ones digits. So you can, if you need 11, you would put one on the 10 and one on the 11. So you're going to be changing those out as you need to. Okay. There are certain symbols on these cards as well. Um, actually, this card has both of those symbols on it. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. So uh, one of them is downgrade. What is that? Low evolution. So a downgrade symbol. Let me go ahead and pull the back of the rule book here so you can actually see that. There we go. So these are the two symbols that you might see on a card. There's gravity and downgrade. Uh, the gravity uh, grants some cards a special power. When a card is played with a gravity icon, the player can take one token from anywhere on the board. Uh, and then downgrade is... Instead of playing a card, you can discard that card and then take another low evolution card from the deck. But that counts as your card play for that turn. You don't get to play again. Um, so you can basically get rid of it for something else if you don't want it. 
Um, some cards have that symbol, others do not. This one here, for example, has both. This one has none of those. This is what they look like, kind of in case you're curious. Okay. So the bottom one there, or this, this down arrow, that's the downgrade. So that means you can discard this card. Like, let's say I don't want this. Mm -hmm. I, can down, I can discard this card, get rid of it, and then pick up a new low evolution card from the deck. This bottom symbol simply means grab. Whenever I play this card to a planet, I can then grab a free token from the array. It's low in points. That's why I can. That's why that power exists because it's a low, low power. Um, so what does it look like? It looks like it's just. There's only two symbols in the game. There's a downward arrow for downgrade, and then there's a circle. It looks like a triangle so with a circle in the middle. The circle one means that you can get a free token if you discard it. If no, if you play it. If you pl if oh. the, the bottom one is if you satisfy this card and you play it to a planet, you can take a token from anywhere. I see. And then the top one is just down. discard it. Yeah, discard it and pick up a new card, a low evolution card. I see. I see. You don't have to play this in order to utilize the downgrade feature. I see. Okay. Okay. And one other thing to note is planets start on a corrupted side. Like a this is the. Unha uninhabitable side. Oh. As we add cards to a planet, they will either have a gray on the upper right or a green. Uh, uh, the points will be surrounded by a green hexagon or a gray hexagon. Gray hexagon means it's uninhabitable and green means habitable. So after someone plays a card, you're going to check to see is there more green points than gray points. And if there is more green, you're going to switch it over to habitable. And then if gray in the future outpaces the habitable points, then you're going to flip this back over. The reason for this is because some cards need either a habitable or unhabitable side. So you can't score some points unless this is fulfilled in a particular way. So some cards, for example, this is uninhabitable right now. If I had a card where I met all the requirements, but one of those requirements, it needed to be on the habitable side, mm -hmm. I would not be able to play the card until I played other cards to flip this over, and then I could play that other card I in the see. future. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So I, I guess you can start if you want. Sure. So what you're going to do is you're going to pick either a token or a planet, and move it one space. I'll pick a planet. I'll pick the C planet. And okay, and again, they all move clockwise. Yeah. So you can either move, like, slide down here, slide this way, or slide up. Hey, folks, this is Vincent Natalie with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to check out Planetarium. This is a game for one to four players. It's for ages 12 and up. Average play time about, I want to say, 45 to 60 minutes. The stats are on the back of the box, so I'm just... Recalling from memory, but that should be fairly close enough. So what is Planetarium? Well, this is our first time playing first of all But based on what I read in the rule book, this is a game where we're going to be moving planets around the board Running them into various matter tokens and then using these matter tokens in order to pay for cards that we have and we're going to essentially terraform four different planets a B C and D so this game seems to be very simple. Um, on your turn, you're going to move a token. Uh, it has to be clockwise, however. And then once you're done doing that, uh, if you happen to collect any tokens, uh, matter tokens, by running a planet into a token or vice versa, then uh, you'll be able to collect it and put it on your player board over here. Now these player boards um, match the planets that are in the game. So you've got A here, D down there, B up there and C here. So if I were to run planet C into a token, I would put that token into the planet C part of my player board, and then I'll be able to spend those tokens in order to play these cards. Now, everyone starts the game, there's three different card types. There's the low evolution, which is on the left here, high evolution, which is a little bit tougher to complete, and then you've got two final evolution cards. Now, in the very beginning of the game, you're going to choose one of the final evolution cards to keep and the other one gets thrown away. The symbols on the left of the cards indicate what you need to discard or satisfy in order to uh, score the points in the upper right hand corner. The final evolution cards do not get evaluated until the very end of the game on the last turn. So you're going to have these final evolution cards in your hand 
uh, until the very end of the game, and that's when you can actually play them. But here's the kicker. Your hand limit is always, 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 always five cards. So the more final evolution cards that you have in your hand, the less you have to work with to actually score during the game. So it becomes a balance of, okay, how many final evolution cards do I draw, do I keep, uh, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna go ahead now and just pick one of these to keep. I'll just keep that one. And we'll explain, I guess, the symbols as we go. It seems to be a fairly simple process. And while she is deciding on a final evolution card to discard, I'll give you a quick look at the box insert. These are the other player boards that we're not using. The game did come with baggies, which is nice. Um, you've also got the optional use of these stands. So instead of using this uh, C token over here, I could use the stand instead. But for purposes of the video, like I think that's just harder to see from an angle. So I'm just gonna use the flat tokens, but there are, there are optional tokens that you can use for this, which is kind of nice. Um, I think that's it as far as components are concerned. Here's a quick look at the rule book. And it's about, it's really nice to look at. There's also a solo mode in here as well. This is just miscellaneous information. Yeah, here's the solo variant here, which is kind of cool. And yeah, and then there's a guide on the back, and I think it's, yeah, 15 pages or so in length. But again, the last couple of pages here are mainly fluff. Um, what does this mean? What do you mean? So these symbols on these cards, let's go ahead and just pull up one of them. Uh, Here, pull up this one. I might discard that one. Okay. <laughs> so there are a couple of different things to satisfy. This is a final evolution card, and all final evolution cards have this, this remove. cube, remove a cube from a card symbol. As we play cards to the, pl as, as we play cards in this game, by sat like the, the low evolution and the high evolution ones. As we play them, we're going to be assigning them to those planets. Mm -hmm. And then we put a cube on that card to indicate that we put it there, okay? This symbol is simply saying, when you play this final evolution uh, and you put it in the planet that satisfies it, you're going to remove one of those cubes. So you can only play as many final evolution cards to a planet that you've that you already have a low evolution or high evolution card there. So for example, if I tr if I only had one card on planet D at the end of the game that had my cube on it, I could not play two final evolution cards here because I only have the one cube. I only I only played one card to this planet. Mm -hmm. I'd have to find a home for the second final evolution card. What's the IVB? The I, V, and V, those are Roman numerals that are indicative of, mm -hmm. if you look at the board, you'll notice that there's a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, and 6. That is simply saying that in order to satisfy this objective, the target planet that you're trying to score must be between those two, uh, uh, V1 and V, so it must be on this track. So mm -hmm. the planet must be on this ring in order to satisfy this objective. So at the end, you're gonna, again, you're gonna be moving planets around the board. So you need to manipulate the planets to satisfy the positional uh, requirements. Oh, okay. This is saying uh, four and five, and this is four and five. So, as, so if you're trying to score planet C, for example, actually it wouldn't work, this symbol, this planet, That's an A. right, uh, if you take a look, it's also on your player board, A and B on your player board, and A and B on my player board, match this symbol. So you would need to put A or B in this ring in order to satisfy this top one and then the middle one and that would actually satisfy that. How would you switch rings? How do you switch rings? Whenever it's your turn, you're going to, um, whenever it's your turn, again, you're going to pick a token and move it clockwise around. Mm -hmm. You can either stay on the same path that you're currently on or you can you can use these lighter lines. Oh. Let's go ahead and zoom in a bit. It's kind of hard to see, but there's solid white lines and I'll just zoom in there. So there's solid white lines, which is the primary track, but you also notice these faint bluish looking lines. Yeah, I Those are the paths that these things can travel on. So you can switch tracks, so to speak, by doing that. Okay. okay? Right. So you're gonna discard that one. All right. So that just goes to the bottom of the deck. I have the deck, that the decks off to the left side of the screen. You guys can't see that. Um, this is my player board. This is her player board. Typically, um, whenever a planet, you add a card to a planet, you're gonna add D on this row and 
A on this row and C on this row and B on this side of the... So all four sides are utilized. For the sake of the video, we're going to put B up here, D down here, A over here, and C over there because of room, you know what I mean, for camera purposes. Everyone also starts the game with these, these cubes, and again, as you play cards to these planets, you will put one cube on it to track that you put it there. When you fulfill a card, do you have to keep those resources on the planet, or can you, or do you, you kind of have to them. pay for them? So correct. So whenever you, let's say that I, I'll just show you one of mine real quick. So this card, for example, says asteroid impact on it. Okay. So there's that, and I'll show that to you. So I need to discard that and that. Okay. On a planet. Right. That's already on a right. So um, I would be discarding oh. tokens from my player board that I'm collecting in order to play this card. Okay. And as I discard tokens, I'm going to be adding them to this very faint evolution track on this on the outside of the board. When it reaches this point, then we can double move our planets, typically, or tokens. You can only typically move one space per turn. Mm -hmm. But once tokens fill up to this point, then we can move two spaces per turn. And then getting it to here will end the game. Wait, so how do you fill those up? By just, simply just discarding touch. tokens from your board to play cards. Interesting. Okay. The tokens that you discard go on that track. Oh, I see, I see. I see. And that serves as the game's timer. I see. The score uh, track is over here. There's the tens and the the ones digits. So you can, if you need eleven, you would put one on the ten and one on the eleven. So you're going to be changing those out as you need to. Okay. There are certain symbols on these cards as well. Um, actually, this card has both of those symbols on it. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. So uh, one of them is downgrade. What is that? Low evolution. So a downgrade symbol. Let me go ahead and pull the back of the rule book here. So you can actually see that. There we go. So these are the two symbols that you might see on a card. There's gravity and downgrade. Uh, the gravity uh, grants some cards a special power. When a card is played with a gravity icon, the player can take one token from anywhere on the board. Uh, and then downgrade is instead of playing a card, you can discard that card and then take another low evolution card from the deck, but that counts as your card play for that turn. You don't get to play again. Um, so you can basically get rid of it for something else if you don't want it. Um, some cards have that symbol, others do not. This one here, for example, has both. This one has none of those. This is what they look like, kind of in case you're curious. Okay. So the bottom one there, or this, this down arrow, that's the downgrade. So that means you can discard this card. Like, let's say I don't want this. Mm -hmm. I can down, I can discard this card, get rid of it, and then pick up a new low evolution card from the deck. This bottom symbol simply means grab. Whenever I play this card to a planet, I can then grab a free token from the array. It's low in points. That's why I can, that's why that power exists because it's a low, low power. Um, so what does it look like? It looks like it's just, there's only two symbols in the game. There's a downward arrow for downgrade and then there's a circle. It looks like a triangle so with a circle in the middle. The circle one means that you can get a free token if you discard it. If, no, if you play it. If you pl if oh. the, the bottom one is if you satisfy this card and you play it to a planet, you can take a token from anywhere. I see. And then the top one is just down. discard it. Yeah, discard it and pick up a new card, a low evolution card. I see. I see. You don't have to play this I see. in order to utilize the downgrade feature. I see. Okay. Okay. And one other thing to note is planets start on a corrupted side. Like a this is the. Unha uninhabitable side. Oh. As we add cards to a planet, they will either have a gray on the upper right or a green. Uh, uh, the points will be surrounded by a green hexagon or a gray hexagon. Gray hexagon means it's uninhabitable and green means habitable. So after someone plays a card, you're going to check to see is there more green points than gray points. And if there is more green, you're going to switch it over to habitable. And then if gray in the future outpaces the habitable points, then you're going to flip this back over. The reason for this is because some cards need either a habitable or unhabitable side. So you can't score some points unless this is fulfilled in a particular way. 
So some cards, for example, this is uninhabitable right now. If I had a card where I met all the requirements, but one of those requirements, it needed to be on the habitable side, mm -hmm. I would not be able to play the card until I played other cards to flip this over, and then I could play that other card I in the see. future. Interesting. All right. Okay. So I, I guess you can start if you want. Sure. So what you're going to do is you're going to pick either a token or a planet and move it one space. I'll pick a planet. I'll pick the C planet. And okay, and again, they all move clockwise. Yeah. So you can either move like slide down here, slide this way, or slide up this way. I'll slide this way. Just straight? Just this way. Just say up, down, or straight. Okay, there we Sorry. go. Okay. So this C now goes to your C player board right there. Mm -hmm. And to make it easier for you, uh, there's that. Because that way it matches A is down there, C is up there, oh. B and D. Yeah. And it just makes more sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, and if you can, you can play a card to, if you satisfy any objectives. Um, Typically, you're not going to be able to do that in the beginning of the game. In case I didn't mention it, this is our first time playing. Yeah. Um, so we're still new to it. I think I'll wait. <laughs> okay. You, you, it's optional. Okay, so these are my cards right now. Uh, and again, you cannot play Final Evolution cards until the end of the game. So I'm just probably going to put this face down for the moment. Oh, just... so it's not a choice. To play your final, you have to play a low, high, and then a final? No. So you can play the final evolution even if you did it? Yes, at the end of the game. Oh, at the end of the game. Final <laughs> evolution cards are only played at the end of the game. I see. In the meantime, they simply clutter up your hand. I see. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to look at mine and see what kind of things I need. Okay, so this is fairly simple. This would be planets uh, A and B here. So if I do collect resources, I want to make sure it's one of them. So what I'll do is I will... Um, okay, so where's A and B at? A is here and B is here. So what I could do, that's not very helpful. I'm going to slide it along this path into ring one. Take this and put it on my A board. And then I'm going to play a low seismic event, which requires this type of planet, which A is, which is this solid symbol without any rings around it. And then I need to give up one of these brown tokens, as indicated here. There we go. So I'm going to discard this and add it to the evolution track. And I get to play this card to planet A, which is the thing over here. And this is going to score me three points. So I'm isn't going to your player board? Hmm? Isn't your player board? No, no, no. Again, when you play a card, you play it to the planet. This oh. is going to be for A, C, B. All the okay. the way to track this is to put our cubes on here. Oh. So cards played to planet A go here. C will go over here. B will go here, and D will go here for oh. purposes of the video. Oh, okay. Okay. Typically, it's along the outside. Uh, D takes up the entire bottom row and why like what's the point of keeping track of these cards again when you're doing final evolution I cannot oh, I cannot play a final evolution card in a section where I do not have any cubes oh, okay. and I'm also I thought, I thought marker meant this I thought it was like this stuff no okay sorry so okay. now it's now it's your turn so I got three points for that here yep and I added what I spent here. Okay. And because this is still a gray, that, that planet yeah. remains uninhabitable. Yeah. All right, so you're going to slide that down here and green, gain that. Now, can you, you want to no. play a card? No. no. Okay. All right. Oh, I forgot I need to draw a card. Whenever you, um, play, a whenever card. you play a card, you draw. your hand should always be five. Including with the final evolution. Including final evolution. So the more final... Now, whenever you draw a card, you can either take one low one high or two final and then discard one of them but keep in mind that uh the more final evolution cards you put in your hand the less you have to work with during the game yeah so um with that being said um that's kind of nice there that's that's the final one though all right so let's work on hmm. okay um maybe i'll continue working on this okay so with, um, let's see, B is here, and again, we're going clockwise, so I'll just bring this to 2, take that, and put that on my B board, and can I do anything at this point? 
I could play Cave Networks, uh, which is, again, B is a non-ringed planet, and all I need is that resource. I went ahead and uh, moved B on here, so I got this. I'm going to discard this, add that here, play this on B over here, and add one of my markers to it. Nice. And I'm going to get three points, so one, two, three. I will go here. I'll do this and switch rings. Okay. And put that on C. Okay. Um. Oh, one thing I forgot because this is now green. Like this is a green hexagon. Three points. This is now habitable. Yeah. All right, and I should have drawn a card. And what did you do? I just switched rings and took a cloud. Token. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so out of all of these, um, let's go for some, let's see. What do I need with that one? Is just, is this just signifying That's just telling you that, clockwise. yeah, everything is always, yeah, that's just telling you okay. that that's a <laughs> clockwise thing. And there's also a, a small guide down here for these symbols, mm -hmm. in case you didn't know. Oh, okay. All right, so I think what I'll do is just start getting some better stuff here. Um, that is, oh geez. What plan am I at? Okay, this is C. That needs to be, okay. That's fine. Okay, so maybe this one here is D. That would be, okay, so I'm just going to move D up there mm -hmm. and I'll take this and put that on D and it is your turn I'm not gonna play anything okay. I'll put D up here and grab that like coal that. Okay. Right okay um in that case kind of ramrods me there um Let's do, maybe I'll do C. Oh, I can't stand you right now. <laughs> I do! I'm I just kidding. moved the token. I'm kidding. Wow, okay. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, oh man, that stunk. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Okay. I will... Move C up here and get the coal and put it here. And I will play a card. Okay. And I'll play this one. Okay, so this is Asteroid Attraction. So pick, so I'm guessing your, your ringed one. So you have to pay one gas cloud. Yeah. And then this is gonna go on C. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can put one of your markers up here and you get three points for that, right? And this goes here. All right. And you get to draw a new card. Do you want a low, high, or do you want two final evolution cards? I will get a... I'll get a low. Low. There you go. Okay. Um, I will move... Mm. I'm going to move C here. I'll move C here. Taking that water. Okay. Mm -hmm. Want to play a card? Um. No. All right. I will move C here. Can you leave my C alone? <laughs> <I'm> just, <laughs> nope. I'm kidding. All right. I'll move C up. Wow. Here. C's really kicking it. And again, you can also move tokens instead of planets in case that... Oh, so the tokens said, can crash into planets? Yes, so from behind. All right, well, anyways, I'm going to play this. All right, so what is that? I'll play this on C, and that costs coal and dirt. 
<laughs> okay, so this is going to fill up. And how many points is that? Five points. Okay, so let's check the... And C is now habitable. Yeah, because five is greater. That card she has is five, and it's that three. uninhabitable is three, so five is greater than three. If the numbers are ever tied, the token stays where it is. Oh, really? Yeah, it has to surpass. Oh, I see. Can I have a... Um... Uh, which one? Low, Ooh. high, or... Let's get a low. All right, there you go. Okay. Okay. I am going to swing this sucker into here, mm -hmm. and I will play. Um, okay, so there's no particular requirement here. Um, this says. Oh, one thing I forgot to do. Did I play it? I did not. Okay, never mind. Oh, uh, okay, that was a downgrade. You're good. Never mind. Okay, so I'm going to play this card, which is a high impact, uh, high evolution card. Uh, so I'm going to spend two of these and one of these on my C planet. Ah, nice. So all these go away, they get added to the time track. Oh, did you add mine too? Yes, I did. Okay. And this is going to be put on planet C. Mm -hmm. I'll put one of my guys there, and that gives me 10 points. So I'm going to go up to 10 here. And oh, they're not separate? Again, these are the ones and these are the tens. Oh, so okay, you're going to be, okay. like, as you move up, you're going to be adjusting this up and down. Okay, I was wondering why. These, this the left column will always go up. This will adjust based on where I you see. are. Okay. All right, sorry. And then this switches to uninhabitable? Yes, because that's higher than Yes, it five. is. That's 13 versus 5. Okay. So my turn? It is your turn. I have to draw a card, though. Okay. Um, let's go with that one. I'm going to take that cloud token behind C and, and push run into it. it. Okay, yeah. so you get that on C. And I'm going to complete a card. Okay. And it's this one. C's really doing some work here. And all these tokens go away. Okay, so you got a ringed planet, two yeah. gas, and two water. And it's, it's now inhabitable. It's now habitable, habitable because it's twelve. Right. And I'm going to take a high evolution card. High evolution. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, um, I feel like I need to do stop here. Wow. Okay. Oh, did I get victory points for that? Uh, did you give yourself victory points? 12 points. So just move so yourself 10. up 10 and then two there. So, uh, two. and then up to 20. Yeah, there you go. Oh, okay. So you're, you're winning there. Good job. Okay, so D is all right. Okay, not helpful. That has that. Okay, so let's go with, um, where's D? D is here. Wow. Okay. Okay. That's great. Um, pass. Pass. <laughs> All right, so this one is, okay. So B is there. Why don't I just go clockwise and run into that one? Mm -hmm. Actually, let's do up here. And I'll add that to B. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I cannot play a card. Okay. Um, I'm going to... <clears throat> um, I will take A and go up here all right this little purple one yep yeah, mm -hmm. and i'll take that okay can you play a card yeah okay um what was i doing with that i lost track of what i was doing okay so that is i'll go yeah i'll bring b up here actually yeah, I'll just do that. That's fine. And that gets added to B, and that's all I can do. Okay. I'm going to take B, and I'm going to go with this. You're not taking that cloud? Yep. Oh, wait, no, that's B. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. I got confused. I was doing A. <laughs> a, okay. All right, I'm going to take the cloud. It's clockwise. Yeah, that way. So I'm going to do that. Oh, you're going to run into run it. Into okay, it. that's fine. And I will complete an A card. Okay. And this token. All right. 
I get six points. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. And it is habitable because it's higher than three. Yes, it is. So you can flip that over. Mm -hmm. Worth mentioning, I forgot during, to mention during setup, uh, these tokens are placed randomly. The A goes on A, B goes on the B, wherever. There's C, and there's spots for the starting locations for the planets, but all of the other tokens are randomized. Okay. High evolution? High evolution. There you go. Sure. <laughs> all right. I am going to grab... Uh, all right, I'm going to grab that and play... This active volcanoes card on B, which is over here. Okay. And that gets me, it's still habitable, 7 plus 3 is 10. Uh, habitable at 7 points, so we're up to 6 plus 7 is that, and then up by 1. Mm -hmm. And I get to draw a new card. I'm going to take a uh, final evolution card. I get to draw two and then pick one. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to sort of pick and choose which ones. Um, yeah, this one is... Uh, man. Okay, that's actually doable. I might take this one. Okay, and that goes back. I'm moving C up here and taking this. Okay. And your turn. All right. I am going to... Wow. So, C and D are our, okay. Hmm. <sighs> okay, I think I got this, maybe, kinda. Um, oh, I forgot to add these tokens to the track, because mm -hmm. I spent them. I was wondering where they came from. I, I will need that for that at some point so do i set myself up for the end game or do i keep going with it that's crazy um you know what let's go with um <sighs> sorry i am thinking mm -hmm. A is here, and it's getting a little tough now that choices are starting to be limited. Mm -hmm. D is down here, but D is like... Okay, for funsies, I'll do D there. Um, sure. Actually, do I... No, I don't need to do that. My bad. <sighs> Crap. Okay. You know what? I'll swing B into ring two. Okay. And I cannot play anything. Okay. I'll take C and go here. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Um... Let's do, where's B at? B is there. Okay, I'm gonna swing B back into three to take this one. Mm -hmm. I'll go up here with C and I'll complete a card. Mm. One thing I forgot to do, um, does anyone have that other symbol? What symbol? I played a card with the gravity symbol. I forgot to oh. take a token from anywhere. Okay. I'll take it from somewhere that's sort of like out there and not near anything. So I'll just take this one here, this water. And I want to put that on um, B. Okay. I'm going to complete the C card and um, pay all of these resources. Okay. And put a marker and I get six points. Wow. I think one, you're going to win this. Three. Four, five, six, and my token goes up there. Mm -hmm. It's your turn. Oh, and I get... Um, you get to draw a card. You want low, high, or two final? <sighs> mm. Let's get um, a low. I like the low cards. The low ones? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Anything change from a habitable standpoint? Oh, I get a token? Oh, uh, yeah. Take it from anywhere. Yeah. All right. I will take the... 
Now, do I put it in any planet? I think it's... Or does it have to be on a C planet? It says here, any and place it on any planet on the player map. So yeah, any, any token onto any planet you want. Okay. I'll do... Um, oof. I'll do... Oh my gosh. I don't even know. Sorry, I'm thinking. Now, can I chain off of that and like complete another card if I do that? No, it's one, oh, one, one, card, one play, one card per per turn. All right, <laughs> I tried. Um, let's take. I think I'll take. I don't want. You know what? I don't think I'm gonna see that anytime soon. So. Let's do a cloud. Oh, sorry. Let's do a cloud and put it on. I guess on that. Okay. All right. So my turn. Yeah. All right. I am going to. <sighs> I guess we'll do one thing I forgot to mention mm -hmm. when it comes to planets. Mm -hmm. Planets have the ability to, I think it's swing out of orbit, uh, meaning that if there is an empty space, you can move until you reach something. Oh, I didn't know that. But I mean, as of right now, that's not a, a problem. Okay. But I'm saying like you could do that and then mm -hmm. you also jump over existing planets. So I could, in theory, hop here and then grab that. Oh. Well, I'm not going to do that, but I'm just saying that is a possibility. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Um, I feel like, okay. I guess I'll bring D here to grab this water. And I cannot, I mean, I could actually. Um, the question is, do I want to? Yeah. All right. So what I'll do is... I will, um, it's risky. I feel like I need the points, but. This remove marker, does that mean you that's lose for end the game. points? No, you don't lose oh. the points. You just simply, again, that's every time you play a final evolution card, mm -hmm. you're going to remove mm -hmm. a token or a marker from that card from that planet. Again, you, if I if I had three final evolution yeah. cards and I tried playing all three to be, I, I can't. I only have two, so okay. I, I could play two here, but not three. Okay, so that's just to signify. This is just to signify that it's one per yes. card. Yes, one evolution have. per okay. one card that you have okay. for that planet. I see. Um, but I forgot what I was doing. I moved Sorry. here and grabbed water, and you weren't thinking about completing something. I was thinking about it. Um, yeah, I guess. I kind of want to. I want, I want points, but at the same time, I feel like I need to hold on to stuff because I'm not sure if... Uh, you know what? You know, I'll pull... Mm. <laughs> oh man, this sucks. I'll hold on to it for now. Okay. Probably a mistake since I'm down on points. I'm going to move that here. Okay. And I'm going to complete a card. Okay. The D card. The D card. And I'm going to pay for these three. Okay. And I get uh, eight points. Yep. One, two, I three, think you're the winner of this six, game. Seven, eight. And I'll get a... Um, what do I get? What do I get? Hmm. I'll get low evolution. Low evolution. You like those. I, I don't know. I, I, I do like them. All right, I'm going to swing this way, mm -hmm. and I will put that on D and play a card. Mm -hmm. This is Oceans, which is high evolution, nine points. So can you move me up nine? Yeah. Uh, that just brings me to two and up to 30. Mm -hmm. um, this makes the planet habitable, nine to eight. Mm -hmm. And these D tokens go here. Now, it yeah. passed this point, so mm -hmm. now planets can move two spaces. Interesting. Every, well, everything can move two spaces, I think. Uh, matter tokens are placed... Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. 
Yeah, matter tokens can now be moved one or two spaces. Matter tokens? So not planets? Oh, okay. No, planets are one, matter tokens are two. Okay. So these will move faster, planets will remain the same. Okay. And I have to draw a card. Yeah. Um, and you have to put a marker on your foot. card as well. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm going to take a final evolution because we're nearing the end here. Mm -hmm. I will. Hmm. 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 Okay. I'm going to. <laughs> okay, I'm going to move the D up, up. Up? Yeah, up. Okay. And I'll grab that, and that's it. Okay. I am going to put... I'm going to go... I'm going to swing... D's orbit mm -hmm. to take this. Mm -hmm. So here and then here. Mm -hmm. And then that goes on a D card there. Okay. I will get A and I'll put it here. Okay. I am going to... Okay. I'm going to go... What does that need? Hmm. Okay, I will swing this here like that, and I will put that on D. I will play this on D, mm -hmm. which is one water, one cloud, whatever. Mm -hmm. That's five points, so I'm up to seven. Mm -hmm. And 13 plus nine is that, so I could flipped over to that side. Uninhabitable. Mm -hmm. and you need to put a marker on that? Uh, I thought I did, but okay. My bad. And then draw a card or something? I will. I'm thinking about which one I want. Oh, okay. um, at this point, again, the game is nearly over. Um, but I think I'll do a low evolution just to keep things simple. I'm going to take this matter and put it on my D. Well, then you, this needs to go down this way. Again, oh, you, you oh. can't go counterclockwise. Oh, I thought with with matter tokens, you can crash into it backwards. Not backwards. Oh, my Everything is always clockwise. Okay, okay. That's mm -hmm. fine. Sorry. <laughs> and now I will complete this card. Okay. For D. So for D. All right, so this is a ringed planet, cloud, and coal. Mm -hmm. Or whatever that is. And that goes there. Six points. Yep. Six. And I pay for the resources. Yep, and they go up there. There you go. And I will take, um, I'll take a low evolution. Low evolution. You really like just, <laughs> you and your low evolution cards. Uh -uh. Hey, whatever works for you. I'm just saying. Okay. Um, let's go with, um, I'll swing D down here and then, uh, I guess I'll swing it into this one here to take that. And then that's for D, and I cannot do anything. Okay. I'm going to take A, and I'm going to push it down here. To water? To mm -hmm. water, and I will complete Oh my gosh, you and your cards. I'll complete an A card, and that goes up there. And I get six points. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think you won this. Yeah. The I'm, of not, cards, I'm out of markers. No, whenever you're out of markers, you can either play cards without them, or you can move a marker from another card down. Oh, okay. okay. Again, markers only signify, so if you've got, if you had four final evolution cards, mm -hmm. and you didn't, and you didn't plan to play them up there, you could move one to a different card. Oh, I So see, that you okay. can, you know, play it in a different planet. Okay. So I get a card. Which one do you want? Low, high, or final? I'll get a final. So it's point. two finals, and then you pick one to keep. Okay. Uh, uh, OK. 
okay. That's good. I guess I'll keep. Yeah, uh, keep this one, one that and... I have. Okay. <sighs> Gosh, I keep losing track of which planets I'm trying to put where. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. And then that one needs. Okay, so we're good. Okay, so um, I've got that there, and now it's my turn, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna swing. Yeah, I'm gonna swing D down to this and then swing it into orbit over here. Oh, so we can go down and then that yes. way? Yes, again, you're just moving as many spaces as okay. you can to catch up to something. I see. And then I will play the a card. Mm -hmm. So this is um, Asteroid Impact mm -hmm. uh, under D, is it? Where's D? Right here. Mm -hmm. And it's three points, whoop de doo One, but, two, three. Yeah, but I get to take a token from oh, anywhere. Nice. And these need to go here and I will take mm, I'm gonna take one that's kind of I'll just take one that's sort of out of here I'll just put that one on my B one here mm -hmm. my turn it is your turn I'll take D and I'll put it here okay and I'll complete a D card are you kidding me with one token yeah. <laughs> Three points. Okay, three points. It's still not bad. Mm. All right, so you don't have any markers, so we'll just keep that there. Unless you want, unless you plan on completing three evolution cards no, over here. No, it's fine. Okay, <laughs> folks can't see it because it's kind of zoomed out, but that that's what that looks like right now. It's just a bunch of cards over on D. Mm -hmm. um, as far as like, I forgot to check for habitability here. Um, Twelve. Yeah, this is definitely uninhabitable. Mm -hmm. How is everything looking over here? Is There's everything a tie here? Okay, so that's still habitable. Okay. Um, that's still, that's still green is good, and yeah, it's still good. Okay. And I will take... Um, I forgot to draw a card, my bad. Go ahead. Um, I have to draw one, too. Um, I'll take... I'll just take two final, because at this point, we're nearing the end, and I might as well grab what I can. Yeah. Both of these are awful. Um, I'll take two final as well. Alright, so then I'll give you these, and then you can decide mm -hmm. while I'm deciding cool. which ones to keep, and... All right, so that one is A R V. Okay, that works. Except that doesn't work. Although both of these are awful. Discard this one. Okay, you're gonna discard that one. And A is habitable, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. You sure about that? It's six and three. This should be six and six. There's but six. there's a three here. Yeah. Isn't six the higher? It, this no, you first. sum them. You sum them. You always take the sum of both numbers, and whichever one is greater, that's what it oh, becomes. Oh! So, so you have to add up the greens and then add yes, up the greens. Yes. Oh, I didn't know this that. This six know. plus three is nine. I see. Nine versus six is uninhabitable. I thought it was just the higher number, and then if you had a tie from then on, no, it's neutral. No, okay. no, no. Sorry. You sum up the numbers and then you compare. Oh, okay. And if it's a tie, then it stays wh where it is. Okay. Um, I am going to... Um, hmm. Oh, I have to discard one. What's easier for me to complete? I guess I'll get rid of this one. All right, so it's my turn? Yeah. All right. Think. Well, yeah. Um, so this one... Okay, so that one... A is over there, okay. So what I'll do is I'm going to swing this coal mm -hmm. into planet B mm -hmm. and I will play um, prepar uh, precipitation. I'm going to spend my two clouds mm -hmm. for planet B. And that's uh, all of uh, three points. Yeah. Nice. And I get to draw cards. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. Um, out of all of these, which one is more feasible? Uh, which ones are... That one is that, and that is not there. Uh, 
That one is there. Uh, Can I? Oh, sorry. I'm no. still thinking. Yeah. Give me a minute, please. Sorry, sorry. Uh, how do I? <laughs> um, okay, so it doesn't matter. I'm trying to decide between two, and I'm not sure which one's easier to get. All right, that one is... Well, could I afford to do that with that one and get it into that position? Um, I may have to. Okay, um, I will keep... I will keep... Uh, okay, go ahead. Okay, I'm going to take... Um, hmm. Hmm. I'm going to crash this token and put it into the D. All right. Makes sense. Um, I'm going to swing, swing, swing. Mm hmm Assuming I can do that, I'm pretty sure I can. <laughs> and take this one and add it there. And think that's all I can do. Mm -hmm. I will take D and put it up, swing like that, and take this. Okay. Out. And that's that. Okay, fine. I'm not sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've got, I have all final evolution cards in my hand. So I'm trying to maneuver these planets in such a way that I can complete all of them. And I'm just not sure I'm going to be able to do it. Um, holy cow. All right. Do I like, do I like where this one is? Yes. This one, do I like where that is? Doesn't matter. Do I like where this one is? Uh, okay, just for sake of argument, let's just go like that and then swing up here. Um, or, hold on, let me check my other card, make sure I didn't just make a blunder here. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. So I'll do that. Okay. And I'll just take that and add it to B. Okay. Um, I'm going to take D, put it up here, and then complete a D card. Okay. And that is three tokens. Yep. So just put them there. And, and th that that's goes a D card. D. All right. I'll just put that here. Now you get to now play your final evolution cards. And then I get to play mine. Yep. And then that's it. All right. So I have this one. All right. So this here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, did I give myself the points for D? Uh, no, that's three points. Oh, no, five. I'm sorry. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you won this. You're, you're up 20 points. <laughs> um, then... Final evolution. Yeah, so five points one? for this one. So this is status, This yep. is a ringed planet yep. in four or five. Now, it's on four, right? Right. And so, yeah, so that means the D, you would take one of these off yep. to show that you've completed that. Yeah. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. Let's put this down here for now. Okay. And then I have this one. All right, so this one is an uninhabitable planet on ring one. A. Okay, A, uninhabitable, one. Yep, so this is seven points for you. Molten right. Inferno. I'll remove the marker. Do I remove the card? Oh, no, no, just move the marker over. And that's seven? Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then this one is habitable, habitable planet on three or four. Okay. And that's B. B, yep. So you get six points for that. I You won this totally. There's no way I can beat you. So... That's it? Yeah. So did you have, uh, you had one on D, right? You had... No. Oh, A, I'm that sorry. That was B. That was B? Do you have a marker on B? I don't. 
I thought I did. Then... Then I can't score. Well, is this is this precipitation... This is my card, wasn't it? I think... Yeah, so you can't, right, you can't score that Two, one. Three, four, is there another one that's habitable that is on ring three or four? A, for example? No. No, no. So this one, you can't score. Because, yeah. again, you didn't have a cube over here for B. Oh, man. I could have sworn that two one was mine, but that might have been yours. That I think that was... Because these two cloud ones, I think I put down oh. right here. Okay, no worries. All right. Okay. So now I get to take one final turn and then I get to score my evolution cards. Mm -hmm. um, the question is, do I want to, let's take a look here real quick. I'm just going to put mine out so I can clearly see them. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So based on this madness, mm -hmm. um, first of all, final evolution, a habitable planet B, green, Two coal. Wow. So I have two coal on planet B, which I will give up wow. in order to play this. So this is, uh, and I take a token off of B, which is this. Mm -hmm. So that is 12, 12 points. points. Nice. Yeah. So 12 plus 3 is 15. Yes. So that yeah. goes up. Right. Wow. Nice. So that one's done. Uh, this one is a ringed planet on 1 through 3. I moved it up to four. Yes, you I'm did. Sorry. Well, actually, I still get one. I get to move one final time. Oh, remember? That's yeah. why I'm laying these out right now. Oh, that's right. Okay. To see what I need to do. Um, I'm just going to yep. move that. Perfect. And crash it into this. It doesn't make a difference. Yeah. Um, so that will score uh, six, six points. points. So that's on D, correct? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take that and put it on there. Four, five, six. Wow. Um, this one is an uninhabitable planet on three or four. Um, uninhabitable, that would be yeah, A or D. Yeah. Right, so that's there. So, uninhabitable, uh, three or four. So I have to remove another one from D, which I have. So that's mm -hmm. another six points. Wow. You're still ahead. No, you're catching up quick. Um, I have five, okay, a ringed planet on six or seven which is C. Wow. This is the seven up here. That's so perfect. So do I have one on C? Do I have you, a, a you cube? Do. Okay, right so that one I'm going to put there. One, two, three, four, five. Wow. Oh, that's so and good. And then 12 points. It's a habitable planet, which is, I believe I was going for B, three through five, which it is between three through five. Wow. Two water tokens, gone. And I remove a cube from B, which I have mm -hmm. here. So I go up 12. Wow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Good job, babe. So even if I did get that last six points, it, it would have only netted me 78 to mm -hmm. your 84. I guess. So that was good. So what did you think of this? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, this one got me sweating. Did it really? <laughs> Yeah, that Why? good. Your end goal, goal cards, that's all. You always do that. You're the comeback king, I'm telling you. No. <laughs> well, again, I, I love the fact that um, I, I feel like the game went really quick. Yeah. Um, but I love the fact that um, you have hand management to worry about where you can grab more end game scoring cards, mm -hmm. but at the cost of not being able to hold low and high evolution cards because your hand limit is five. Mm -hmm. So the more high evolution you have or the fi or the more final you have, the less immediate points you could potentially score. Yeah. Um, I love also the strategy of like trying to um, like I, I wanted to put at least one card in each of the four planets mm -hmm. with a cube on it. So that I can work, that way I had more leeway yeah. with my final evolution stuff. Mm -hmm. um, how did you feel about everything? Like, it was pretty good. Yeah. I liked it. I like the art too. I mean, this is, for example. They have information in the bottom corner. It's mm -hmm. so cool. Oceans of liquid water provide a diverse range of habitats and life may evolve. Yep. Yeah. That's really, I love the art on this. I'm, I'm a big sci-fi geek to begin with, but mm -hmm. I love astronomy and this, this is... How about the whole, the, the abstract way of moving things around the board? Would that, did that stress you I out? I liked it. it it's, this whole game stressed me out, but I, I really <laughs> liked it. I thought it was fun. Uh -huh. Like, this was, this was very simple compared to that Cytosis game. Yeah. This was a lot simpler, a lot more fun. Um, I enjoyed this one. I don't know. I liked, I liked trying to figure out where my planets should move in order to fulfill my cards. And mm -hmm. I kind of like... The whole you can take materials and push them like 
and back right. of you. And the closer you get to the center, the harder harder it is to come back out, mm -hmm. like and to get the outer resources. Right. I don't know. I, I, I thought the game was going to take long, but yeah. it, it flew by quicker than I realized it was. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like it was deceptively complicated, but like it was over like that. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I, the artwork is like the board. I mean, look at the box. Yeah. I mean, that is just, that is one of the prettiest box covers that I have in my collection. Mm -hmm. I, I just will say that. I'm not a big sci-fi person at mm -hmm. all. Mm -hmm. Like I'm totally kind of opposite of that <laughs> with you. Yeah. But this is great. Like, I really enjoyed this. I liked the little info in each card. I love the art. Mm -hmm. There's also, if I didn't mention it, there's a solo variant in the rule book. Mm -hmm. uh, you need, apparently, dice for that. On a two cool. through seven, you move all planets, and then on eight, no planets move. And I guess you're trying to get a high score of 100 or whatever like cool. that. I don't know the specifics, but it's there. And again, in case I didn't mention it, the back of the rule contains like extra fluff that you can read about, which is really nice. Um, the most complicated part of this game really was like learning, okay, so wait a minute, how does, how do these flip over? Mm -hmm. Why do I want to do that? How does this tie into this? You know, once, once everything clicks, it's super easy. Just either it's move one token and then play a card if you want. Like mm -hmm. that's so simple. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So you can really teach this to anyone, uh, in my opinion. Yeah. So. This was, this was great. The iconography, that wasn't even that much. No. It was confusing at first, but then once you get it, it's like pretty easy and it's all explained in the bottom. Mm -hmm. So that is super helpful. Yeah. What a great game. Cool. Well, there you go, folks. That was Planetarium. If you guys haven't already subscribed to me on Twitch and YouTube, that way you can stay up to date with any new content I've been to publish. This is Vincent Idali. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time. Bye, guys.